Hello, this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In today's video, I'm covering example one from section 8-4 in the Savas Realize Algebra 1 textbook. The goal of today's video is to use quadratic functions to model area. So a company offers a rectangular pool sizes with the dimensions as shown. Each pool includes a deck that goes around it. If Carolina wants a 15 foot wide pool with a deck, how many square feet will she need to have available in her yard? So the first thing that I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to be solving this to find um, an equation that will find the area of the pool in the deck. That way, if Carolina decides that she doesn't quite want the 15 foot wide pool, she could find kind of another another width pool, okay? So let's start with that function. Now recall, the formula for area for any rectangle is the length times the width. So if I could find an expression to describe this length with the, the pool and the deck, and if I could find an expression to talk about this width with the pool and the deck, then I can go ahead and I can multiply those together to find a total area, okay? Now notice, when I look at this pool, I'm actually going to zoom in just a little bit for a moment. When I look at this pool, they're saying the length of the pool is 2x, and they're saying the width is x here. And so with this deck going around, not only is the deck up here going to add 4 feet, but down here will also add 4 feet. So that's kind of the trick to these problems is when you have something going around it, remember it goes on both sides. The same thing for the width here and here. All right. So my expression for my length is going to be the 2x from, from the actual pool. And then I'm going to go ahead and add 8 to it because I have the 4 feet here and the 4 feet here. And my width for this pool is x for the pool and then 4 feet here and 4 feet here. So a total of 8 feet being added for the deck. All right. So my function here for area is going to be my length, which is 2x plus 8, times my width, which is x plus 8. And so in order to, to finish out this equation, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to multiply those together. I like to use the box method, so that's what I'm going to do. Just because if ever we give some kind of polynomial solution, it's usually written in standard form. All right, so remember for this, I just go and find the area of my box, right? So um, 2x times x is 2x squared. x times 8 is 8x. 8 times 2x is oops, 16x. And 8 times 8 is 64. So my area, if I start adding together each of these little boxes, I have 2x squared. Plus, in terms of my linear stuff, for my linear stuff, I have 16x and 8. That's uh, 24x and then a plus 64. So there's my expression. And so what's nice about having an expression here like this is I can, you know, if Carolina is one of those wishy-washy people who isn't sure on what size she wants, or if her backyard's not big enough, she can quickly figure out a, a different area, okay? So now we want to actually find the area of the pool in the deck. So we're going to try the 15 feet, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and plug in a 15 everywhere where you see an X, And this is going to find the area of the pool that she's thinking of. 
just opening up a calculator tab. All right. So 15 squared is 225. And if I multiply that times 2, I get 450 for this first term. Now for my second term, 24 times 15 gives me 360. And then I'm adding 64. So if I go ahead and add 360 plus 64 plus 450, I get 874 square feet. So that would include the pool and the deck. Alrighty, so now in the try it, now they're kind of switching it up just a little bit. They say, suppose that the length of the pool is actually three times the width. So instead of having a two here, we have a three. Um, how does the function that represents the combined area of the pool and the deck change? So we're wondering what effect this is going to have in terms of, you know, her final number here. So in terms of my formula, right, this turns into 3x plus 8 times x plus 8. And so when I go to do the box method, it's going to change two of my boxes. All right, so here I get 3x squared. x times 8 is 8x. 8, 8 times 3x is 24x, and 8 times 8 is 64. So my area formula is 3x squared plus 32x plus 64. All right, so you could see that it changed that middle term, right? It added another 8x onto here, which it makes sense. And so I believe Savas wants us to actually figure out a number. I'm just looking at that now. Oh, no, they just want us to write that that 2 is replaced by a 3, and there it is. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's how to use quadratic functions to model area. Until next time.